guys, Rexy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over an insane secret detail that you probably missed in your initial look through of Chapter 6, Garn Ban Ban Steam page. This detail will give us a lot of clues of what to expect in Chapter 6, so definitely buckle up and make sure you watch till the very end. And if you do want to see some more Garna Ban Ban theories, go ahead and comment them in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So the first place we're going to start is the actual Garden of Ban Ban Chapter 6 Steam page. Now, if you'll recall, there is actually a drawing of what looks to be a mural on the wall. This mural shows what we believe are the mutants of Ban Ban's kindergarten. As you can see, the gang is all here. You got Tamataki Kamataki, the Jester, Syringin, Kittysaurus, and Zophius. And this seems to take place in what looks like a music classroom or some sort of auditorium. But what's really interesting about this wall is that it looks like it was broken and this mural was actually either painted over or drywalled over in the kindergarten. And this was no mistake. The Euphoric Brothers usually put little details in their games to prove that something or someone is still to come. And that actually brings me to my first theory. Now, in order to prove this, we're actually going to have to go back to Garden of Ban Ban Chapter 3. And this was actually brought to my attention by a few people on Reddit. So if you go back over to Garna Ban Ban Chapter 3, you'll remember when we first initially met Tamataki Kamataki, we have this giant area. And if you recall, this is exactly where we had our first boss fight with the mutant. Obviously, after dodging Tamataki's water bubbles and placing dynamite on Kamataki's tongue three times, the monster is defeated, or at least we thought so. After it falls into the pit, we actually have the chance to go over to the platform that it was standing on. And if you'll recall, in the very far left top corner, there was a little piece of paper. Now this paper looks like it had been burned up, but this revealed for the very first time the new Jester character of Chapter 4. Now let's take a look at this paper side by side with what we see in the Garden of Ban Ban Chapter 16 page. You'll notice that this is a paper drawing of the mural that looks like it was covered up in the kindergarten. And what was hidden on the other side of this paper? You see, there was two characters that were actually revealed in Garden of Ban Ban Chapter 4 that we had not seen yet. Obviously, one of them being Syringin and the other one being Kittysaurus. But if you look closely, guys, there's actually some music notes that still are on this paper. And if the Euphoric Brothers decided to block out the right side on this paper, then what's to say that there's not something to the right of Kittysaurus in the picture on Chapter 6 and to the left of Tamataki Kamataki? I mean, look closely here, guys. There's a music note next to Zolfius. And we've had no examples of Zolfius being related to music at all to this point in the game. So my theory here is that the character on the left side is actually going to be some type of musical monster. Or in this case, a mutant. And up until this point, there doesn't seem to be a character that's been introduced either in Ban Ban's gang or the mutant gang that has any relation towards music. So it's got to be a new monster. And now that brings me to the right side of this mural. Now, if you look closely, definitely cut off is Kitty Soros's tail and right foot, meaning there is definitely more to this mural than what we're seeing. Now, some people are saying that it could be the mutated Opila chick, but guys, that character literally didn't exist until it fell into the GV. And that happened at the end of chapter 4. So there has to be two new characters that have already been around for quite some time. Which makes me wonder, who drew this mural? Because it had to have been somebody who came in contact with these monsters at some point in time. And if you'll recall, humans were not supposed to be at the lower levels of the kindergarten. So is the mutant on the right some type of art teacher? And what about the Syringin? Does this mural pretty much prove that he is going to be a bad guy in Chapter 6? Seeing as his company has proven time and time again that all these characters outside of Zolfius have chased us or wanted to kill us at some point in the game. So that being said, let's play the what if game. And a creator by the name of Poppy Playgame has actually come up with some amazing fan made gameplay of chapter six. And in this gameplay, I really do think there is a realistic version of the Syringin. So let's go ahead and react to these videos which take place right at the end of chapter four. As I do believe this could actually be a possibility to the start of the chapter. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, guys, so we just got on the elevator and we're heading down. It's so hard to build. It's just ruined. I'll let the elevator go. Grab this one. Definitely. 
It is really interesting that we decided we to bring Stinger Flynn with us. We need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's and now we're looking for the Queen's Scepter, which we already know at this point is magical and probably the only way we're going to stop the naughty ones. Let's see what this has in store for us. Now we have to run and hope for the best. Oh, this is Stinger Flynn's voice line. Do you think it could be dangerous? How quickly the old chick became a huge evil monster. What's in these barrels anyway? Uh, I think we're here. Okay, look, there's the mural, guys. Look how well done this is. Whoa, okay. So maybe it's not a music class, even though I okay. do think it would be. Oh, what the heck? What's inside of it? What? Is that a nut? It's a shank! Okay, so there is a, a shank. Oh, no, it's like, it's like a scalpel, like for surgeons, inside of his body. Okay, that's... I guess that's realistic, but it seems kind of weird that we would just know to put that in there. Oh, no, there's a couple. It would be cool if there was different surgical tools around and not just, like, scapels or... I mean, honestly, guys, it looks like a shank in a prison, if I'm being completely honest here. Okay, once collecting a few of these, it should unlock that door, I guess? What's Stinger Flynn doing? And have you guys noticed, in Garn of Ban Ban, all throughout the different chapters, Stinger Flynn has been going up and down in size. He's never been a consistent shape or size. And if you saw, at the end of Garn of Ban Ban Chapter 4... He was kind of, like, tiny on the elevator. I remember him being smaller than Sheriff Toadster. Right, here we go. Throw the last one in there. They even had the sounds right. It's like, he's got it. Bro, look at that. Yeah, there's definitely more behind that mural. You can see the wood panels at the top of it. Even in the drawing. Okay. So, I'm assuming... That's going to be... Okay, yep. It's a red key card for that door. All right. Floor minus six. That's crazy how deep we've gone. Oh, I just realized the floors are the different rooms. Or the different... The different games go by the same amount of floors. So seeing as we're on floor six, that's game six. So wait, did we go past floor five? Interesting. And what's this? It's like a... An office. Or even crazier. What if this is the laboratory underneath the kindergarten because we already know right we already know that they've been doing research on children what if i mean it'd be the perfect place for some freaks to have a science lab underneath the Uh oh. Oh no, they're looking up. Wait, what? Stupid chicken, you got the wrong guy. Come down. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, oh, there's a part. Oh, there's more parts. Chicken, you got the wrong guy. Come what? down. Wait, so why is he so. Okay, that's insane. How he, that little thing caused the. Oh my god, how did it get bigger? It was so small on the elevator. Oh my god, does he see me? <gasps> oh! Whoa, okay. So it is bad. At first, I thought it was good because it... Oh my god, it attacked the Kittysaurus. But I think it was just the monster instinct in it. I could see it being bad because it's definitely a mutant. And mutants seem to have aggression towards us. Or anything in that matter. Oh my god. It's destroying everything. I mean, there's no one to save us now. Oh my... We, are, are we gonna jump? 
Gotta go back in that room, I guess. Oh. I mean, there's nothing here. What? Press the button again? Oh, because it... Oh, it opens the door. Oh, the syringe. In. Wait, wait, what the heck is gonna happen here? Wait, they're fighting. What? Where is he taking it? Oh, he dragged it off. So, wait, does he bring it to some type of clinic? And I guess that decides it. I guess he beat the Kittysaurus because if he survived and came down. Okay, so now do we get to get a, get a look at the lab? Okay, now this is cool. Look at the trail. Oh my gosh. I guess that makes sense because he's somewhat like a squid or an octopus. Oh my god. I just realized that's crazy. He walks on two legs. He's definitely like an octopus with that kind of head shape. Oh, he's going to do a surgery. Okay, that's crazy. Oh, what the heck are we going to do with that? What is that on the... Oh, it's like a... I was going to say, is that some type of secret on the door? I mean, on the whiteboard? We're going to bring it back to life. We stuck it with a syringe. So now what is it going to do? Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, he definitely sees us. Does he not? Is he blind? Oh my, this guy is blind. Hey, let's see what he does. Oh. oh, that thing is so powerful. It dragged him out. Now they are all down the hole. So, wait. Sheriff Toadster, Stinger Flynn, and... Oh, he's back. He... Oh, no. He's not happy with us. <laughs> Lock him in. Now let's go ahead and check out his lab. What the heck? Oh my. Holy 
crap. Okay, guys, that was absolutely insane. If you guys do want to see some more reactions just like that one, there's plenty of more out there on YouTube, and I'd be more than happy to do them. Just comment down below that you enjoyed it, and we'll definitely come back to them. But guys, I think this is a realistic look at what could actually happen in Chapter 6. Hopefully, we do get to see those two new characters very, very soon, maybe in a trailer for Chapter 6, uh, but definitely something that I'm looking forward to, and hopefully you guys are as well. If you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor. Go ahead and hit that like button, number one. And number two, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications for more awesome content just like this. Anyways, guys, thanks for all the love and support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out!